Hi guys, today we're going to talk about common types of commercial and residential rim locks. As the name implies, these locks are rim mounted on the inside surface of the door and on the inside surface of the door frame. Because of the ease of layman installation, rim locks are commonly found in residential construction as add-on locks, more so in older homes and apartments than in new construction found today. Like mortise locks, rim locks are often spotted by cylinders that sit flush to the surface of the door. Unlike mortise locks, however, rim lock cylinders are inserted into a 1 and 8 inch or 1 and a quarter inch hole drilled into the door. As you can see in this picture, the cylinder is attached to the door by screws attached to a back plate mounted on the interior side of the door. The brass colored screws seen here thread into the back of the lock face. The smaller silver screws help attach the back plate to the door. Note that not all back plates have these smaller screws, as some are merely held in place by tension alone. Though commercial grade models similar to residential rim locks are certainly in use, the most common type of commercial rim lock in new construction is panic hardware. The first step in through the lock forcible entry is removal of the lock face. The K-Tool, Rex Tool, or one of the Rex's derivative tools such as the Little Rex or Ads Rex are the tools of choice for pulling this type of cylinder. These lock pulling tools bite into the sides of the cylinder rather than just grabbing the weak lock face only for it to break off leaving the cylinder intact. This next clip demonstrates the technique for pulling a rim lock cylinder. In this case, we are using the ADS Rex from Firehooks Unlimited, but the technique is similar to any of the Rex derivative tools or the K tool. With the lock face removed, you should be able to insert the blade side of a key tool or flathead screwdriver into the cylinder hole, rotate the latch hub, and retract the latch. That said, the real world sometimes intervenes with our plan A in the form of a mangled lock mechanism or additional security features such as metal shutters and night latches. Such problems may make it difficult or impossible to manipulate the latch mechanism. This night latch switch disables the latch, locking it from both sides so that even someone with a key can't unlock it from the outside. Fear not. Remember what we know of rim locks. They are rim mounted to the inside surface of the door. Unlike board and mortise locks, no portion of the latch resides within the door itself. The lock body of many of these types of residential and commercial rim locks are attached with three to four screws. Our prop locks shown here are approximately the same size as a typical rim lock. They are mounted using a similar length and diameter screw, and they are attached opposite holes of the same size used to mount rim locks. Shown here is our rim lock plan B prop. The clip that follows demonstrates a good plan B technique should your attempt at manipulating the latch fail. Hit.
Most satisfying. Hit. Hit. Wear safety glasses. <laughs> Hit. Ready? Hit. 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 He's almost as good as four. 